Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Martin, and in this video, I will show you how to create a relevant chart of a big data set. Uh, as in the last video on horizontal sorting, we have here the a data set that's displaying the populations of all European Union countries from 2001 until 2012. All right, um, let's put them in a chart. I see an empty value here. Let's put a zero in there because otherwise formulas get messed up later. And go to insert chart. Let's start with a column one. Now here we have a pretty chart with a huge value here. And the, these are the countries. These are the population data. And these are the years. First, we're going to get this one down because I don't like the chart and the data on top of each other. Go a bit down, and we'll make it a bit larger because there's a huge amount of data that I want to see properly. Yeah, I like this. Now we have a bit of a problem here because um, the data is a bit weird. Here you can see all the individual countries, but the first three one are this is all the EU. This is euro area, seventeen countries, and the euro area with sixteen countries. Don't know what the difference is, but apparently. Somewhere halfway the, um, the time period, another country uh, joined the euro, I guess. But because of these, th th this doesn't mean anything that this is the biggest, because of course it's the biggest, it's the sum of all. So we want to get these out. Um, there's two ways to do that. We could create a new chart and then uh, just don't select the, the, the data for the three uh, rows. But we can also do it in a chart. Um, and we're going to do a little trick. Because you have here you have the uh, the years, and here you can say okay I don't want to see 2002. Okay, look if I look at remove and click OK, go back to my chart. You can see 2002 is gone. That's what I would want to do with uh, this one. But as you can see, there's no option to do that here. So, but we can do switch row and column. Now this changes, of course, the graph big time because now here are the years and these are the countries, which we don't necessarily want. But this gives us the option to just say, okay, I don't want this one and this one and this one. And now the data is a bit more regular because you see you can see differences between countries. That's that's what you want to display in a graph like this. And if we switch it back again. We have basically the data that we had before, the graph that we had before, uh, except without the huge big ones. And now you can see, hey, Germany is really big and France is really big, but it's not as big as Germany, but it's growing. And Turkey is also very, very big and it's growing even more. So uh, in another video, video we'll cover how to actually uh, create pretty labels and make do, do a nice background color and actually insert uh, a label here that says that this is actually population data and the, these are years okay so that's a bit obvious but uh, um, this was uh, um, playing around with uh, data in your chart that's what I wanted to show you in this video um, and as you can see from if you look closely at the legend here if you just manipulate your data always always check the result because because I wanted to show you how to easily remove um, something from uh, from the y-axis from the, the, the set of columns sorry uh, I removed 2002 and it's still missing which is okay for the uh, purpose of this tutorial but if yeah, that that's not something you want regularly so always always check the results does it make sense am i missing something all right that was it for this tutorial i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments um, you can also subscribe to my youtube channel to get updates if i post new videos and you can have a look at my site worksmarter.tv there's a link in the description below all right thank you for watching until next time, bye.